Some of the problems that our clients uh, bring to Geosyntec are what do I have to do to stay in compliance? What's the deadline? What's my best path for navigating these regulatory requirements? There's things like drinking water standards for metals and that's that's what they are exceeding and they need to come back into compliance and clean those things up. And there's a variety of remediation technologies that Geosyntec looks at for our clients to evaluate really on a case-by-case -case basis. Every site is unique and so we sort of look through the various options at each site to see what is the best choice for that client. The traditional kind of default or presumptive approach that the regulators like, we call pump and treat. It's groundwater extraction, usually through wells, where you extract the groundwater with physical pumps, and then once it's above ground, you have to treat it to remove the contaminants, and then that water has to be placed somewhere else once it's treated, so you can either re-inject it back into the ground, you can discharge it to surface water. Some of the power plants put it back into their process water streams where they actually use it in the power generation process, so they have kind of a closed loop system where the water gets out to these uh, coal ash handling ponds, it leaks out, it gets captured by extraction wells, and it goes back into the power production water process stream, kind of like a big recirculation loop and the concentrations keep getting higher and higher and higher every time you go through a loop and that makes it harder to treat. There's a really innovative alternative to that that works in some situations which is called tree well where it's essentially a solar driven biological pump. The trees are extracting and controlling the groundwater. They're a physical barrier to the flow and they extract the groundwater and, and it's basically sequestered in, in, the, in the roots of the trees that the metals are. Um, we are usually kind of working on the cutting edge of research with the top universities and, and be getting familiar with the latest treatment approaches that have the potential to save the client time and money in coming back into compliance and a lot of times we're the first to field with those technologies and um, the other consultants can't offer these choices they don't have the know-how or the hands-on experience with them yet. 